guys, so me and uh, is it Mitch or Mitch? Let's change from place to we place. We good? Yeah. We should be good. All right, let's load up and let's take a trip. We've got another location we gotta go to. All right, guys, we are down at the lake area and we got one house we gotta do. And oh, still got a lot more, guys, to get done. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am, this is day three of the snow removal. Right now I am out here removing snow at a client's house that uh, we've been doing work for years or for a while now. And I think it's been like uh, five, six years maybe working for her. But here's her patio. Um, we did the uh, block work right there I think two years ago or last year, I'm not sure. But we've been taking care of this place for a while. Uh, great customer and uh, great client and now all the snow was packed you guys it was literally high as that if not higher um, so we came in and uh, took all that snow out and pushed it out over there as you can see and I've got the big skid loader right now um, right there behind me as well we were moving snow out snow out right there I was blowing it and then through the year or through the season it packs up right there so then we bring in the skid loader right there and push it away from the house just because uh, when that melts that comes all the way into the house you guys we have to keep that clean for all the time so guys it's been busy all two three days and not much sleep but we're getting it done I've still got few more accounts I've got to do I've got to go blow uh, I've got to use a snow blower on another account and just we've got got a lot to do so I've got to get up on this roof too um, right there that flat roof I've got to get up there and um, take down the snow so it doesn't get so thick up there so yeah guys that's the hustle so far there it is guys that's what we were working with Got that all done. Now I gotta get up on the roof. Good afternoon, guys. It is January 24th, and I'm still out moving snow. Been out moving since yesterday or the day before. And now I got to uh, put a strap here for our uh, for our shovel. So I can haul my shovel around. So it's been a busy couple days, guys, for us. And um, haven't even had a chance to work on this fish uh, bait shop. Uh, let's see how's it going. The water I treated the water. All right, so I treated the water, guys. What's the water temp here? I got thermometer. 
but 48 degrees yeah about 48 degrees guys so once I get done with this uh, settle in a little bit and yeah, get some fish in here get this rolling so you know I'm glad that the storm came and we were short people we were Equipment breakdown, equipment going, trucks going in the ditch, everything, nothing stop. So, Mike goes out, uh, took the other bobcat to his parents. Uh, all right. Okay. And. Now I love using it on our some application. Uh, yeah, love it, love it. I'm, it's it's always good to have uh, different oh geez different kinds of equipment or attachments because it's well worth it, guys. Because uh, not a bucket can do everything, and then not a snowblower can do everything, not a snow wolf can do everything. But uh, you just like to have uh, varieties of uh, attachments to get the work done because you never know um, what kind of works come through or what kind of a uh, application you need it on so all right guys I'm gonna hop in the skid loader and we're gonna I'm gonna take you guys along um, we've got to go blow out uh, the uh, one of our accounts it drifted in it drifted uh, it actually drifted in guys it's about two feet three feet drift so we're gonna head up there get that moved and then we've got a few more um, driveways we gotta clear out for customers Gotta get some more diesel fuel here. I need to get that 500 gallon tank running, guys. We went through about 300 gallons of fuel already. So I gotta give them a call and have them fill that up again. And yeah, I really need to get that 500 gallon going. Because they've been coming to fill up a lot. Uh, this drift is just huge. It requires a snowball. 